morning guys, welcome to Fish with Bish. We're back at Bells Mill, one of my favourite, favourite fisheries. Um, just a very quick one, we've had some, uh, some comments off a couple of guys asking about more information about the fisheries, uh, where they are, all those kind of rules, regulations, a little bit of history and things like that. So I'm going to do a, a special series of the fisheries that I fish. Uh, just looking at the history of them and whatever, they're only going to be short videos, probably possibly part of the 5 Minute Friday series which I'm starting up again. But first of all, here we are, we're at Bells Mill, I'm fishing with Dad, Spartacus is on the bank, I'm fishing with Pete and luckily he's behind the tree, that's my cousin Pete, not my brother. Um, so now we're at Bells Mill, already spoke to John. Uh, there's fish moving in front of me. I've not wet a line yet. Can't wait to get in. Remember guys, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You don't want to be missing this, dear. Dear. Anyway, here we go. Let's do a bit of fishing. Right guys, it's the morning after the storm last night. Um, when I got here this morning, I was first there. There was, uh, it was really, really gusty. So decided to tuck ourselves down. I'm on peg nine, dad's on eight, Pete's on seven. Nine is the one that is at the far end of the fishery, of the match pool, where there's like a semicircle of, of reeds, you know me, always looking for structure on a fishery. So uh, oh, let's get round there. Let's try this edge. Literally, I'm just trying all the spots that I'm going to be fishing later. Just seeing <coughs> if there's anything down there straight away. Right. Got scissors. show you this little fish here, little fully scaled ghosty, look at him, is that, whoa Neely, is that a stunning fish or what, I'm over the water here guys so if he goes for one, look at him, what a beautiful fish, let's get him back. for a good day today aren't we guys eh? In for a good day's fishing today. Pete, Pete, roach, maggots, yeah. here we are guys, there we go, lovely, lovely roach, you up? less than a foot, there we are, he's a bit sly mate, let's get him back, let's get him back in, what a beautiful fish that is. Gonna be one of those. No editing day. A few maggots again. There's still maggots on the on the hook. I'm using the green matrix. I keep wanting to call it slip, but I think it's silk. Absolutely, here we are, we're off again. What can I say, guys? This is a bit bigger. Right, 
using the pole to take the take the fight out of the fish. As I say, I'm in no particular rush today. He's just a bit bigger or he's just he's a bit angry. Lovely, lovely carp, guys. Look at him. What a beauty. Look at him. Oh, goodness. Son. Right. Right, here we go again, guys. Let's, we saw how long. I might just have to edit putting the bait on. That's where I'm going to have to edit. And the fish are just there. Alright, there we go again. Let's just drop it in. The difference between pleasure and match and carp fishing. You just, you just love getting all the different species. Anything different. Anything different I'm after. Fishery pellets in. Oh, I'm running again. fishing guys. Stunning fish. This is a slightly different fight. A slightly different fight. No, still another carp. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Whoops. He's flapping his fins about. As I say, it's all going to be about today. It's all going to be about. How long it takes me to put some bat on the bloody hook? I wonder why the points were getting a bit finicky there guys. There he is, that's the culprit. If ever you're having finicky bites and you're lifting and there's nothing there, it's these buggers, crafty buggers there. Beautiful. Right, let's get him back in the water for a second and recover a bit. I just want to get a picture with my phone. Roach. Some cracking roach in here. Cracking roach. Yeah, guys. That was beautiful. 
beautiful red things. Lovely roach. Oh, actually, this, uh, I don't know, could be a roach rud hybrid because if you look at that mouth, slightly underslung, it should be flat. So, but there you go, let's get him back. I'm not going to debate his lineage. Let's get back down there. I'll just put the mangle maggots on. Or a swap them. Let's just let's just throw this down here again very quickly. Right, I'm just going to show you this rig, guys. Let me just show you this rig. All right. It's one of uh, it's a fish with bish float. It's one of the ones I've made myself. I got bulk just below. I'll just tidy that bulk up. Not why that's down there. And then I've got a few down by the float just to get it down. Because obviously, down by the hook, brother. Because obviously, I'm fishing really right close in. Need that to get down caught quickly. I'm just going to double check the depth again. Just double checking depth is the right thing to do. Just times. It's the difference between catching and not catching, let's be honest. Oh, it's ultra shallow there. It's a little bit deeper there. So it took about way over dip. Oh, 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 there we go. What is this? Is this guys? This feels a bit different. What is this? Oh, got a bit of fight in it. Wagging his tail. He's wagging his tail for the camera. Fair play to your sunshine. Or slightly bigger perch. Slightly better perch, guys. Red fin, as they call him over in Australia, but look at the size of his eye. Just built for predatory action, they are. Right. I'm going to try, as soon as the slightly bigger perch has turned up there, I've been feeding maggots for quite a while. I'm going to put a decent sized piece of worm on. As per usual, guys, the. Uh, the battery ran out just as I got So we got ourselves a nice perch. It's not the biggest, biggest perch in the world. But it's a nice looking fish, look at that. That's a nice perch that is guys. Bell's Mill, don't let you down. Mixed species fishing. Proper predator, got him on the worm. So let's get him back in. We'll get through a few batteries today, guys. So, the fishing down there. I 
on the worm. So let's get another one on the hook. See if that's any good for the perch there. Oh, that was a proper pull on that then, guys. A proper pull on that. Let's tuck it back underneath. That didn't feel like a perch. There's another decent sized perch. Beautiful fishing here at Bell's Mill. If you want a mixed bag, you can come and catch carp all day if you want to. You can fish on the specimen pool and catch some absolute clunkers on there. But if you just want a mixed bag of fishing, look at that. All day long I could catch these guys, all day long. Right, let's get them a little bit closer. Beautiful. Right, it seems to work that drop it down, tuck it right underneath there. Seems to be where the bigger guys are. Again. This is big. This is big. This is much bigger, guys. Much, much bigger. This is the perch. I'm gonna have to put some length on here. Feeding down, down there though. Just because he's took off doesn't mean that they're not interested still. Come on, Mr. Perch. Oh, come on, Mr. Perchy. This isn't a perch. 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 Or if it is, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. No, it's a copy car. Perfectly up corner of the mouth there. It's coming quite quick this one guys so he's, he's a bit lively. So I'll just very quickly show you him before he jumps out my hands. There he is. What a cracking day. Let's get him back in. Silver dollar. It's all in the silver brain. Oh, 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 yo, 
is a perfect example of what we say when we say a linear mirror. I'll show you again. When we say linear mirror, this is what we mean guys. It's a mirror car, where a linear mirror means that all these, all these scales are all lined up there. So look at him. Absolutely gorgeous example of it. Not very big, but still a gorgeous example of a linear mirror. So let's get him back in. underneath it's a benefit of pole fishing you can get into these little nooks and crannies and we'd like some of those better quality fish oh there we are something like that I don't think this is a perch guys if it is I'm well chuffed if it is Perfectly middle of the top. 